Hey guys, Nick Koshkowitz with you. Mike Antoshwitz not making it here tonight. He'll rejoin me on Sunday. But a quick little recap for you for Rutgers Wrestling. As number 22, Rutgers defeats Indiana tonight 29-7. to It was, a, I would say, all-around solid victory. Eight bout wins for the Scarlet Knights. Uh, unfortunately, we'll start with the negatives real quick as uh, Nick, uh, Nick Aguilar, now ranked 14th in the country at 125, the redshirt freshman dropped his match 4-2 uh, to two to Cronin here tonight. And it, it just seemed like he just could not break the hand defense of Cronin the entire night. Wasn't able to score, gave up that late takedown, just could not do enough in that first match. Kind of gave Rutgers a bit of a slow start here, but they reeled off five straight bout wins right after that. And Sammy Alvarez, of course, uh, back and forth a little bit, scrambling, a couple dangerous situations. But, you know, of course, you're going to live and die by the scrambling with Sammy Alvarez. And he was able to make that a major decision, getting that late tilt that was huge for the match. It kind of gave the momentum back to Rutgers, gave him a 4-3 lead. And just going down my list here, uh, jo jo Jojo Era going to bounce back as well. Uh, that was a big win for him after a rough weekend against Cornell and Penn State last week, last Friday and Sunday. So I got to say, a solid 8-4 win for him. You saw the aggressive attacks from Aragona. You saw the double leg, which is his uh, bread and butter in neutral. It, you, when you see that from Aragona, you know his confidence is rolling. And we saw him gonna get out from bottom, too. So he was active all around, good all around match from Aragona. Gerard Angelo bounced back win as well. High scoring affair. Gave up a late takedown. He even acknowledged after in the uh, post match. Uh, press conference that uh, he shouldn't have given that up so he knows we did wrong but overall big win for him as well to bounce back after his uh, rough loss to Cornell uh, last week as well uh, Mike Van Brill solid win over uh, over Fernie Silva 3 nothing. we're going down the list here uh, Brett Donner stepped in and once again at 165 Jackson Turley weighed in tonight but did not wrestle so he is back within the he's in, he's, in the, he's back in the mix a little bit but Donner's still the guy moving forward a big major decision there for Brett Donner here tonight he was very active just he was scoring at will tonight 12-3 win Big time for him. Put Rutgers up 17-3 to after 165. Uh, Willie Scott stepped in for the injured Joe Grell. He uh, was the uh, second loss for the Scarlet Knights and the only other loss for the Scarlet Knights here tonight. So we're interested to monitor that situation moving forward, whether if Scott stays in there long term or whenever Grell gets back. So I would assume once Grell is back healthy, he'll be the starter once again. Uh, Billy Janzer, solid comfort behind win, late win, 5-4, late takedown over Hines. Um, and they're going to have those. You know, Janzer's not going to go out there and dominate the unranked guys every single time. He's still young, still a redshirt freshman. He's not one of these guys who's ranked in the top 10, top 5. That's just going to go out there and be a hammer every single match. Now, Janzer was being a hammer, so to speak, in this match. Very rough, very aggressive. That's what we love to see from him. But it was good for him to see, see Janzer grind out that type of win in the end anyway. Got that late takedown, hung on for the victory, and almost gave it up at the end with a reversal. Uh, as Hines, uh, look like he actually got out for one. It was very questionable. Even on the broadcast, I was looking at it and saying, you know, they're facing each other. They're out in front, almost both on their feet, but... Not enough there for the referees to give up a escape point there for Hines, and he almost got the reversal, as, but, but James was able to hang on. So, again, he got the win. That's all you can ask for. You move on to Sunday as well. Uh, Jordan Pagano nearly, nearly got the major tonight, 1-7. Nothing got a shutout. Uh, you love that from him as well. You, you can see his top game really evolving as well. So you look at what he's doing uh, in terms of the top. Uh, on top, he goes for the pins. He goes for the tilts, the power halves. That's his bread and butter, and he's, he's going to be able to stick somebody very soon because it, it's, it's getting very close, and he's he's working it every single time when he throws the boots in, throws that power half in. It's very dangerous when he gets on top. He's very lengthy, one of the bigger 197 pounders you'll see around here in the Big Ten. And finally, Matt Carrente, uh, he, he wrestled heavyweight tonight, and I, I, I don't know if it's a permanent solution yet, but Christian Colucci is still on the men here for the Scarlet Knights, but yeah, Parenti weighing in at 210. He, 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 he seems to be the guy right now. Uh, him and Esposito are probably going to go back and forth. It's committed to see what... Uh, Coach Cadell and company do on Sunday against Purdue. But Cranky way in the 210, and he got the pin. That's, that's all you can ask for. You have a takedown, but a quick reversal with a cradle. Able to lock it up. Boom, there's a pin. So, uh, Rutgers does win 29-7 over Indiana tonight. They'll take on Purdue on Sunday, ranked 13th in the country. Right here at the rack at 1 p.m. Catch that one on BTN Plus, as always, with Luke Brogno and myself. As always, Mike Antoshowitz will rejoin me on Sunday for a recap as well after the match. All right, tune in then. I am Nick Costco signing off.